Hi guys and welcome to The Batch Lady to this Christmas special where I am showing you um, how to make Christmas stuffing for your turkey. Um, on The Batch Lady channel I show you how to make fast, simple, homemade food that's quick and easy that you can get in your freezer and bring out for whenever you want it so you're always ready in advance. And today we are talking about lovely um, sage and cranberry and chestnut stuffing okay and it's so simple this is literally going to take two minutes okay so i grew up that i always had paxil um, as my part of my christmas dinner and my husband always had sausage meat in terms of his stuffing so we have compromised and this is the compromise that i always do so i take a piece of sausage meat and i take this stuff which my, now my overhead camera, again my mobile phone, has decided that the storage is too full and has died so I'm going to show you just from here. But this is literally just um, fresh breadcrumbs and it's got sage and onions through it um, and some various other herbs and you get it in, I think I got this in Tesco, beside where you get the chickens and it's, bas um, it's, it's basically there all year round I think, it's not a Christmassy thing so I've seen it lots. So what you want to do is just get your stuffing the, the breadcrumbs mix and it saves you making it yourself basically um, and I just get it, it's fresh breadcrumbs and mix it in with the sausage meat and it's going to completely flavour it um, now it sometimes goes a bit dry and I'm going to add some chestnuts to it as well so once you've mixed it what I tend to do is you can use a freshly squeezed orange if you want but I've just got some orange juice just to save a bit of money and I'm just going to put a splodge of orange juice in the middle and mix it around and it's going to give it that lovely Christmassy flavour and get it quite moist which is what I want um, in fact I can smell it just now that orange and herbs it's it's really really good and I'm going to put this inside my turkey okay the, the bit of the turkey right now depends if you like chestnuts or not so um I always get these, these called gourmet chestnuts, I don't know why they're gourmet, probably because they're quite expensive, but um, I never seem to find any other chestnuts about, so if you like chestnuts you can add them, and if you don't you can leave them out, so I'm going to just chop these, they're quite moist and soft anyway, but I'm just going to give them a quick chop and stick them in, and the good thing is about using stuffing is I think you should, I mean I'm not a chef, but I, what I would say is I always stuff my turkey because I think keeps it moister um, because it's got and it makes it a nicer flavour um, and so I would always put stuffing actually in my turkey. Um, there is another stuffing that I like to do with pin meal but I never do that in the turkey that's always one that's just left out but that is basically it. All I'm going to do is put that in a, am I going to say it right, a sealable freezer bag Yes, and um, that's just going to sit there until a couple of days before Christmas till I bring it out to defrost. If you want it to defrost quickly then make sure you flatten it down a bit and that is going in my turkey. Have a brilliant Christmas, watch out for the other uh, Christmas episodes coming up this week um, and check me out, G give me a subscribe please, I'd love to do some more recipes, thanks, bye!